Hello guys, it's Miko from SheetDB and in this video I'm going to show you how you can gather data from visitors of your website using a form embedded in your site and store it in Google Spreadsheet with the little aid of our app. I've prepared a spreadsheet here and as you can see in this case we will gather only the names and email addresses of our guests. In order to show you how it works, I'm going to use a tool called CodePen which displays the coding results in real time. And here you can type HTML, CSS and JS and underneath you can see the results. We only need the HTML part today, so let me just hide those segments away. Let's start with the simple form element. And of course guys, you can use this code in any other place where you can use HTML. Here we need two inputs, name and email. So let's type them in. And also uh, a button to submit the form. Okay, now we have to add some attributes to make it work. First, we need to specify where we want to send it to. In our case, it is going to be the sheetdb endpoint URL. I've prepared an API already, so I'm just going to copy its ID and paste it here. We also need to specify a method and in our case it is post because we want to add a new row to our table. If you want to learn more about methods just go to SheDB documentation. Let's give our inputs the names. Here we need to specify the name that is the name of our column from the spreadsheet and in this case it is the name. SheDB requires that the requests body include a data object so I type data and the column's name between two square brackets. This is going to be the same for email input. And voila, the form is ready. If the user fills the form and submits it, a new row is going to appear in our spreadsheet. However, the downside of this is that the user is redirected to this URL, which we don't want to. What we might try is displaying a message. To make it happen, we need to add a little bit of JavaScript. We can use this snippet from our website. This will be available as a code pen in the YouTube description. Okay, so let's check what we have here. First, we grab an element with an ID of sheetdb form. As we do not have it yet, let's add this ID to our form. After a user submits the form, this piece of JS code will be executed. And this code, in, uh, sorry, in this case, it's a simple alert. So now we have a success alert and everything should work correctly now. Let's try filling the form with some fresh data. After hitting a submit button, we'll see. Yeah, it works. I will just make sure that the data is added to the spreadsheet. And as you can see, it's there. You can use any JS code here, for example you may want to redirect the user to a thank you page or hide this form or just whatever you wish to. Guys also I recommend you to check our entire website where you will find more features of SheetDB, more use cases and just a handful of useful information. If you have any questions or feedback that you would like to share with us feel free to reach out on Twitter at sheetdb underscore io or email us at support at sheetdb.io Thank you guys, hope you liked this tutorial and uh, more coming up in the future so just stay tuned. See you in the next video.